Hello everybody, it's teacher Amy and I am here to show you how to do a tic-tac-toe or a memory reward using your phone. Now, tic-tac-toe and memory rewards are really created and meant to be used on webcam software like Cam Twist or Manicam. It is possible for you to do it on your phone, but it is kind of weird and cumbersome and it's a little bit easy to mess up. So if you try this and it ends up feeling weird, we have over 5,000 rewards. Like, go ahead and choose something else, <laughs> it's okay. But if you are intent on doing this on your phone, I'm gonna show you how. So I have pulled up a colors tic-tac-toe reward here and I am using the Google Slides app right now, but this would work the same if you were using it through a browser. So you only have read access to the rewards. And in order to be able to use the reward correctly, you need to be able to move the X's and O's on the screen. So you can't be in read only access. So you need to make a copy so that you'll be able to edit it. So right here up in the top right corner, there is the three dot menu. You're gonna click on that scroll down to share and export, which you can't see, but it's there. And then scroll to the bottom and choose make a copy. And it will take just a second to make that copy for you. And then once it has created the copy, it will automatically open it. Now, when you open slides in the Google Slides app, the first thing you usually wanna do is hit that um, triangle button to put it into present mode. But this reward has to be out of present mode in order to work. So don't hit that button, you won't be able to use the reward. So on this particular reward, it is slide five that has the grid on it and it has the colors on the board there. So very simply, you're just gonna say to your student, choose a color and they will pick black. And you would have decided ahead of time if they are X's or O's. So let's say the student is O, you're just going to click on an O and then you are going to move that O over to black. And then you can click on the screen again just to get rid of that blue box around it. And then you have the O on the black box. Okay, I am X, I choose brown. So you click on the X and then you move the X over to brown. And then you can click again just to get rid of that box. So that's how it works. It's not very difficult, but the screen is very small. You do have to kind of move things around. The other thing that's a little tricky about this is that because things are very tiny, this happened to me um, in a previous version of this video, I clicked on it and then when I went to move it, what I did was actually stretch the X across the screen. <laughs> so that happened and it's very easy for that to happen because you're in edit mode and you can do anything to manipulate it. So if that happens when you're teaching, you can just hit this little uh, back arrow up at the top and it will just undo the last thing that you did and you can go back. But that is how tic-tac-toe works. So make sure that you make your own copy, that you do not put it into present mode, and then you just have to move the X's and O's onto the board. So I hope that helps you guys out. And now I'm going to show you how to use a memory reward. Okay, so let's do the memory game. It's very similar. So I have pulled up a memory game here. Again, I'm in the slides app, but it'll work the same on your on your browser. Um, so I'm gonna go to the three dot menu. I'm gonna choose share and export, and then scroll down to make a copy at the bottom. And once it has made the copy for you, again, you want to keep it out of present mode. So you don't wanna hit that little triangle button that usually makes it go full screen. You want it to stay in this mode here with the slides down the side. So in this particular reward, the slide that you're going to use for the reward is five, slide five. It's the one that has all of the numbers on it. Um, some memory rewards have vocabulary words instead of numbers, but it works the same way. So you just ask the student, choose two numbers. So let's say they choose five. You're just gonna click on five and it's gonna put that blue box around it. And then this really ugly, annoying menu pops up over the top, but you actually need it. This is again why it's good to do it on webcam software because they don't see this part when you're using webcam software. But you're going to hit delete. It is the third or the fourth option over from the right. You hit delete and it's going to get rid of the number box and show you a, what looks like a living room. So then you ask them to choose another number. Let's say seven, same thing, you just hit delete. Oh, that looks like a bedroom. That is not a match. So what you're gonna do from here to cover those back up is just hit the undo button at the top, the little back arrow two times, and there you are. And if at any time you touch something and you don't want to see that menu on the bottom, if you just tap somewhere off the slide, like in this in-between area over here, that will go away and you'll be able to see the full um, game board again. So that is how you do it on your phone. Again, it's a little weird. You have the same uh, 
risk that you could accidentally resize one of these instead of just deleting it. Um, but you can always hit that undo button. Um, it's not a big deal. But I've heard a lot of people lately saying that they want to be able to use these kinds of rewards on their phones. So I hope that this step-by-step -step will make that possible for you guys. Happy teaching, everyone.